You know, when snow makes those mountain roads slippery like it is this morning, see that would require the semi drivers to put on their tire, their chains to improve uh, their traction and their safety. Well, I found a new product that some in the trucking industry hope will replace the old chains with a new cloth like cover. Next winter, truckers on Colorado Mountain Highways could do away with these and start using these. So basically, you just slip it over the drive wheel. It's called the auto sock, and it goes on like a shower cap. It works by creating friction between the cloth-like material and ice or snow. It takes about five minutes to do a set of tires versus a chain, which they figure the DOT allows 30 to 45 minutes. So what, what is this material and what's it made of? Well, you know, the manufacturer is pretty uh, quiet about what, what the material is actually made of because it's obviously a unique product, but it gets sort of a hairy-like surface to it, and it creates a tremendous amount of friction. Plus, you have constant road contact at all times. With this winter, two truckers died while chaining up. They Some in the industry black. think the auto sign could not only help make the process and faster and easier, but could also be a lifesaver. It reduces the amount of time that the driver has to be out of the vehicle during what we would say is very kind of hazardous uh, weather conditions. The next step is certification. Last year, U.S. Truck Driving School in Denver tested the auto sock, and last December, Mile High Foods tested the auto sock at the Eisenhower Tunnel. Both companies say they were impressed with the results. As for CDOT, they need the product to meet certain criteria, showing performance is equal or better than chains. That certification could come in the next few weeks or months, not soon enough for this driver. Hey, as long as it's better than the chains, I'll try anything. A lot of people don't like chains, but you know, if they work, they work well, let's use them. Yeah, and in general, the consensus is that product, as well as other products like this, are safer for drivers to put on the chains, and that's the main thing that they're concerned with. This year, two truckers died, uh, or sorry, two truckers had a heart attack. One died, another was hit while removing his chains near Vail, and that happened in October. It's really an amazing product, and I tell you, I would buy it for my wife's car, and you can, they're really used extensively in Europe as uh, passenger cars, because more people there use them, and, and they're used so you can see the little brochure here, and uh, so they do use them in the passenger cars. Well, there. how much oh, easier okay. would that be? to pop those onto the chains because you see those guys doing that on the side of the road and it's ice cold up yeah. in the tunnel. And, and that's oh, one man. of the advantages, they say, is that you can just take it right out of the truck, you put it on, it takes maybe two, three, it's a lot like a shower cap. And yeah. it goes right, on just right. like a shower cap right over the wheel and then you're done. And uh, it, so it keeps the drivers that's off cool. the side of the highway for a long time and it really improves the traction, you, even on your passenger car. Yeah, you can see all the different tire sizes sure. on the back. You can't see it from there, but it, there, it, that's many, many different yeah. sizes. And that's there are good. some other options, too, that uh, maybe will be approved hopefully, in the next couple uh, couple of weeks, if not months. Gosh, how easy would that be? That'd I have be nice. to say, for, for a woman, that's less intimidating than the chains sure. and putting it on the tires. So, and it's lighter. Yeah, okay, much lighter. Go. All right, thanks, Jason.